Hello everybody, my name is Ruben Kings and welcome back to Earthbound. In the last episode, we defeated Mr. Carpenter, aka leader of the, the Happy Happy Cultius. Now, in this episode, we realize that, you know, the whole town has been rescued and it's basically Tucson again. Or in this case, the sister city of Tucson. And I want to come back to this little hotel that we came back to in the last episode where <laughs> this cow was actually painted blue, but now he's back to normal. So let's see what he's got to say now. The blue cow thing wasn't such a great idea after all, huh? <laughs> but yeah, actually, once you defeat uh, Mr. Carpenter here, you can actually go into this house and you can rest up for free. Yes, I would recommend, um, say, you know, healing here fully if you haven't. Uh, that way you don't have to go all the way back to town. And it's a very, it's a very nice, uh... Little reward, you get some free uh, healthcare here, so pretty nice. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tackle on the next dungeon, which is to the right of uh, the happy, happy village. But everyone here is, you know, different. I think, is this Mr. Carpenter? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, but checking up our stats. Uh, yeah, Paula is level one, so we're gonna have to level her up a little bit. So, let's go into this cave. You have some interesting music now. We have a new enemy here, but just listen to this ambience. Like, oh my goodness, dude. We are in a cave. This is the mole playing rough. So, ideally, I want to try to fight a little bit of these guys to help, you know, level up Paula for a bit. Uh, but yeah, she could actually get hit pretty hard here so yeah she only does one damage so i'm gonna try to do as much damage as possible to these guys um these guys are not that strong either uh they really only have like 103 hp so we're not gonna be very strong you can take them out in like one hit i think with a uh, psi rocket all right paula goes to level two she goes to level three Pretty nice. She gets PK fire or PSI fire. She gets level four. Yeah, just one battle actually leveled her up pretty quickly. Level five. Oh my goodness, that, that was nice. Yeah. Ideally, you want to do this a little bit. I mean, this is like the strat, I guess. Um, you could just just play normally, but I I personally like to level her up uh, as soon as possible. Ideally, you want to get her up to level eight or nine uh, before you move forward. That's just me. Yeah, like I already did majority of his damage. Yeah, so I, you know, she relies heavily, heavily on her PSI attacks, but we want her to uh, be a little bit stronger before we do any of that. So she's now level six, very good, and I believe she only gets, yeah, she gets peak uh, PSI shield. All right, uh, I'll do one more fight and then we're gonna move forward. So I'm just gonna cut ahead. Teddy bear. I was dreaming of the past. But there is an item up here. We get a croissant. I'm going to give this to Paula, actually. So, as you can see, like, my inventory gets pretty full. I could just move stuff to Paula. So, that's pretty neat. And, actually, I just might... I just might heal her. Honestly, I just might just give it to her right now. Dang it! Oh, shit. Okay, he dropped a croissant. That's like a 4 in 1,000 something chance. I'm going to give all these croissants to uh, Paula here. All right. As we move forward into this dungeon, here we go. We have another enemy here. Finally, a new one. This is the Mr. Batty and his cohorts. Uh, these guys are not that strong either. You can kind of just take them out pretty easily. I do want to show off Paula's PSI, so let's go do... Um... Let's do PSI Fire Alpha. Let's see how much damage we can do. Okay. This will attack both of them. Does a lot of damage to these guys. And this should take them out pretty easily. Pretty good combos you can come up with when you have more than one PSI user in the party. Very nice. Oh, and we get a lot of XP. And Paula's now level 10. Very nice for us. Okay. Let's move forward. And there's some bones here. No problem here. Okay, continue on this dungeon, and ah, there he is, finally. Okay, so this is the Mighty Bear. No, he's not on cocaine, but he is a very strong bear. Um, to be honest, you might just want to use 
PSI freeze on him. It actually is very strong on him, so yeah, it'll do a lot of damage. He is very strong though, but he is very weak to PSI freeze, so get rid of him with that and try to kill him before he kills you. <laughs> Pretty easy enemy though. Get level 18 with Ness, very nice. Get PSI flash alpha, ooh, okay. She gets PSI freeze beta, oh my goodness. Paula's going crazy. Alright, but as we move deeper into the dungeon, you gotta be careful with all these enemies going around here. I just wanna talk about a little story about this area. I don't know, when I first got here, I actually accidentally skipped this entire dungeon uh, on my first playthrough. I totally, like, did not, you know, realize uh, that this was an area you had to go to. I actually straight up skipped it and I was so confused as to why I was missing uh, a certain thing that I'll talk about later but yeah I accidentally skipped this uh, area and just went forward and also I think Ness is homesick oh my god gotta be careful I need to call my mama all right I need to try to end these guys ASAP but it was really funny because it was my first time playing and I just completely forgot to do this dungeon so a little interesting story Dang, alright, dude, I just entered a freaking gang mob or whatever, holy shit. We open this present, we get a PSI caramel, which I believe, if you eat it, you get your PP back, which is very good for us, and I do not want that guy to fight. Oh my god, we are cornered, I think. No, we're not that cornered. But yeah, there's a lot of enemies here, you just kind of want to fight a bunch of them. Uh, you can get through this dungeon pretty easily just with peace I freeze once you have it it is a very strong attack especially against the mighty bears uh, yeah they will literally die in two hits it's very strong I do want to try to restore uh, Paula's HP though okay so now we are in the next your sanctuary location so let's get started This is the second your your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. All right, guys. So this is the Mondo Mole. Okay, this guy has about 500 HP, and he's very susceptible to uh, PSI paralysis. So you kind of want to use this ASAP. Now I might want to be careful here because Paula, I believe, she can get hit pretty easily here. We don't have a teddy bear anymore, but let's see how much damage PSI freeze does. 8 damage. Okay, don't do what I just did. Uh-oh. Okay. Ness is homesick. Oh, no. This is not good for us. Okay, we need to be careful here. Uh, yeah, we're... Bro, you you haven't even taken damage yet, sir. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> that's That susceptibleness really helped us out here. And now we just gotta try to spam attacks and hope for the best here. Uh, let's try peace. I fire. I don't have enough PP. Okay, well, Paula, I'm gonna ask you to pray for us because, uh, frankly, it doesn't seem like you do anything here. Ooh, never mind, Paula, you're freaking useful as hell. We got full HP. And we're just gonna try our best here. Dude, this man has not taken any damage. <laughs> and he's still <laughs> trying to heal himself. Oh, never mind. Okay. And we're just gonna be spamming attacks here, trying our best to take him out. He cannot move. Very good for us. Paula with her little two damage. <laughs> She's trying her best, I swear. I wonder how much he can use. Uh, ooh, okay. Got that smash attack. Very nice for us. I just missed. Yeah, we are... This is a very anticlimactic fight. We're just kind of bashing and hoping for the best here because we're really low. We didn't even get to fully heal ourselves. Uh, but sooner or later, because he is numb, he can't move. Ness lost all motivation to battle. Okay, buddy. Alright, I'm just gonna keep spamming this. And there you go! The Mondo Mole is done! What a very anticlimactic fight. I need to call my mom. Uh, Ness is level 19, and he levels up, and he gets any new abilities no he doesn't okay paula gets level 13 level 14 dang she went up by twice oh my goodness
Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. The sound still recorded the melody of the little pup stats. Man, look at this area, man. It's so peaceful, so beautiful. I can just imagine the, uh, you know, like an autumn breeze going through here. It's so, it's so peaceful, man. Let's listen to the soundstone. 